In today's tutorial, you will learn how to do this incredible effect perfectly. We will see how it's done. Once inside DaVinci Resolve, the first thing we will do is analyze our video to know where and when we will add the clones. Analyze and be clear about how you will do the effect. Now we must go to the color module of DaVinci Resolve. We're going to start with the effect. The first step is to select an empty node in which you have not applied any effect. Next, we're going to open the Magic Mask panel by clicking on this icon here. Well, the next step is to find a frame of your video where the whole person or a large part of it. More or less in this part, you can see the whole person. But in the part of the arms, there is a lot of motion blur. This could harm us when making the magic mask. So I'm going to look for another better frame. Here, you can't see the whole person, but the silhouette of the person can be seen much better and the arms can be clearly differentiated. In this frame, the feet do not appear, but DaVinci Resolve will surely take them into account when making the magic mask. Once we have chosen the frame, we have to click on the toggle mask overlay icon, this one here. When we have activated it, it will highlight in red the mask that we are going to do. Now you just have to left click on the person and hold down, drawing this blue line above the person. Better be generous and paint it a lot, so DaVinci Resolve will know exactly where I want it to make the mask. Finished. We see the highlighted red mask appears. As I said before, if we do not have this icon activated, we will not see anything. It is recommended to change the quality mode from faster to better quality. For now, we're not going to modify any other parameter. Before, we must do the tracking of the magic mask. To do the tracking of the mask throughout the video, we have to click on the icon to track forwards and backwards. So, we will track the movement of the mask throughout the video. We click, and DaVinci Resolve will start tracking. It will take a while since it must track and analyze the mask of the person in each frame of the video. Perfect, we already have the magic mask done. What we are going to do next, it will be to correct all the defects that the magic mask may have. Now we can disable the toggle mask overlay. First, we're going to remove the background of the video and then check if the magic mask has errors. Removing the background is very simple. We right click on the nodes panel and select the option add alpha output. This little blue circle will be created in one corner. This circle is the alpha output. Now we just have to connect this blue square of the node where we have made the magic mask with the alpha output we just created. As we can see, the background of our video has disappeared. Once this is done, we're going to correct the errors that our magic mask has. This is the step that will take us the most time and work, but it is what differentiates having a job poorly done to a professional one. We're going to start correcting the simplest imperfections. On the edges of the mask, some white lines usually appear. If we want to hide these lines, I recommend using the radius parameter. Increasing the intensity, we will eliminate the lines on the edges, but do not go overboard. Setting it to value 1 or 2 usually works well in most cases. You can also increase the values of clean black and clean white, and thus eliminate these border lines. I'm going to set it to 3.0. Perfect! We have already hidden those white borders a little. Now we are going to fix the most important defects. I will activate the highlight option to be able to see the mask with a gray background. This will help me to detect the errors. Now if I change the frame and we review the video, we check if everything is okay. Wait a minute, what's with the head? We see that the magic mask has selected a part of the brown background because it looks like the boy's hair. If this happens to you in a very few frames of the video, you can solve it very easily in the following way. We click on the selector icon with the minus symbol. And then we draw this red line in the part we want to eliminate. We have already solved the problem. But I only recommend this method if you have errors in very few frames of the video. Since every time we use the selector, we will have to do the tracking again. 
In my video, there are quite a few frames with these errors. If I move forward a little, you will see that the same thing happens again next to the ear. As this problem is repeated in many parts of the video, we are going to use another method. We have to open the window menu, clicking on this icon. Having selected the node where we have made the magic mask, we add another mask with the icon of a feather. Now we have to make a mask that covers the area that we want to eliminate. Let's left click to create the shape of the mask and close the mask joining the last part with the first. Now in the viewer, only the brown spot appears, but we need the opposite. We want only the man to appear and remove the brown spot. To do this, we must click on the invert mask option. Perfect. As you can see, we have already removed the brown spot. Then we have to create a keyframe in the mask. Click on this little rhombus. Corrector 1 means that it is node 1. For example, if you have made the magic mask in node 3, you will have to create a keyframe in corrector 3. Very well. Once we have this rhombus in red, we make any changes to the mask so that it creates a keyframe for us. I'm going to move this a bit from here, and as we can see, we have just created a keyframe. This is the part that can be more tedious. We have to manually fix the frames that have errors. It can take a long time. But as I said before, doing this is what will differentiate a professional job from a bad one. Now, cover the part we don't want and advance one frame. Place mask and advance one frame. In this way, we are fixing all the errors. Okay, in this frame, no errors appear, and you no longer have to cover anything with the mask. Now, you just have to move the mask out of the video. If we play the entire part of the video that we have fixed, we see that the mask moves and hides the brown stain all the time. It's important that the mask is separate once you have finished, because if you leave it somewhere in the middle, you could make a hole in the person. Okay, now we would only have, I have to continue reviewing our video in case it has more errors. I repeated the steps and I fixed a couple of errors that the video had. Now, if our mask has been perfect, it is time to make the effect of the clones. The following steps are much simpler. The first thing we're going to do is export this same video without the background, so that later it will be much more easy to place the clones of the effect. To export a video without background, we must go to the Deliver module of DaVinci Resolve. We make sure that we have all the video selected to render. And now in Format, we must choose the format QuickTime. This is important. In codec, we have to choose GoPro Cineform. Now, when I change the encoder option, look below, another box will appear. We change YUV 10-bit to RGB 16-bit. And as you can see, a new box has appeared with the option to export the alpha output. This is what will allow us to export our video without the background. We activate the box and there is no more mystery. Now, we export the video as we would normally. Once exported, we import the video into DaVinci Resolve and drag it to our timeline. If you have exported the video with audio like me, remove the audio, trust me, because if not, later it will be a chaos. We deactivate link clips and we delete the audio track. Perfect. Now we select the first video clip the one that we have used to make the magic mask. And we go to the color module to deactivate or delete the node that we have made of the magic mask. We no longer need this. In this way, we will have the original video with the background. We return to the edit module. Now you should have the original clip with the background and the video that we have exported without the background. We place the video clip without the background on top of the original clip on video track 2. And then we will multiply this clip according to the clones that we need. That is, if you want to put four clones, you must copy this clip four times. If you want to put six clones, then we will copy this clip six times. Math. 
I am going to copy all six times, since I need six clones. Then, we will place all the copies in the video tracks above, as you see on the screen. Okay, we're almost there. Once we've put all the videos on top of each other, we have to animate and place the clones. The video clip at the top is the main, that is, the clone that will be in the middle and in front of all the others. This one. Now, when the boy does this turn, three clones will appear on the left side. If we want three clones to appear, we have to use three clips. We will use those three clips. We must create a keyframe in position, right in the part of the video where we want the clones to start appearing. I'm going to make the animation start right at the beginning, here. Create a keyframe in position. We create a keyframe in three clips. Now we have to choose in which frame we want the animation of the appearance of the clones to end. We will start with the clip above. Select the clip from above of the three and move the position of the video to the left. Then we select the clip below and this clone we move a little more to the left than the other. Perfect. We select the last clip and move this clone even more to the left. Great, we have already done the animation of the clones on the left. We just need to place the clones on the right and we will have finished. To make the animation of the clones on the left, we have to use these three bottom clips. Now we will use the three clips on top. The top clip, don't touch it, as it is the clone in the middle and it must be on top to cover the other clones. We are going to use these three clips. Same as before, we search for the frame in which we want the clones to start appearing. I want it to appear when the guy does this movement. Great! Select the first clip and create a keyframe in position. Second clip and create a keyframe. And we do the same with this last. Now we advance the video and look for the frame where we want the animation to end. We select the clip above and move the first clone to the right. We do the same with the last two clones. Okay, we will have the effect of the clones finished. Here you have the free DaVinci Resolve course so you can learn to do many more effects. That's all for today. See you in the next video.